Hello and welcome to Study History with Mr P and this is the first of my videos looking at the early Elizabethan England topic. So I'm going to kick off just with a quick summary of what society and government were like in England in the year 1588. So first of all, keeping order in Elizabethan England relied on a clear social structure where everyone knew their place. The monarch was of course at the top of this scale and land ownership determined your place in the hierarchy. So below the, the monarchy was the nobility, then the gentry. There were then the lower gentry or yeomen who held a small amount of land um, and then came the tenant farmers who rented land. But most people were landless, labouring poor people and below them were the homeless and the vagrants. Within towns there was also another hierarchy um, and wealth and occupation determined this with merchants being at the top and then professionals business owners, skilled craftsmen, unskilled workers, and then the unemployed. People owed respect and obedience to those above them in society, and equally those um, near the top of society owed a duty of care to those below them. So on to government in 1558, and the court were made up of people, mostly nobility, who lived around the Queen, who advised and influenced her. The Privy Council was made up of courtiers, advisers, and other officials who advised the Queen. Uh, but made sure that her decisions were carried out. They oversaw the law. Parliament was made up of the House of Lords and the House of Commons. They passed laws, they advised the Queen, they granted taxation to the monarch. Lord Lieutenants were usually chosen by the monarch and were in charge of training the local militia. Justices of the peace were large landowners who kept law and order in their local area and they also heard court cases. So government in Elizabethan England essentially centred around the monarch who ruled by the grace of God. So Elizabeth I made government policy with advice from her Privy Council. She would declare or could declare war and make peace, could call and dismiss Parliament and agree to or reject proposed laws. She could rule in some legal cases, grant titles to people, grant land, grant money and grant jobs to people. But there were times when the monarch needed more money, and extraordinary taxation could only be raised with the agreement of Parliament. So in theory, Parliament could vote against what the Queen wanted. Equally, the Queen could stop Parliament from discussing issues that she did not want them to discuss.